Okay, this is a 2012 Mini Cooper S Clubman, and uh, what I'm doing here is changing this joystick here because it's not working. So um, it's a little bit different than some of the videos I see on YouTube, so I wanted to uh, give somebody some confidence, whoever wants to try attempting to, uh, to change this. So I was having, right now, it's pretty much the middle of winter in January, and it's really cold out, so... I didn't want to break any plastic, which usually happens, clips, tabs, anything like that, you know. So this um, this ring was giving me a problem. So you basically put it in reverse or sixth just to get it out of the way. And uh, let me see if I can do two things at once here. You basically, just put your hands in here, and it wasn't moving for anything. So uh, good old heat. I really just, I didn't want to take any chances of breaking anything, so I just went round and round and round, you know, for about five to ten minutes, just heating everything up, just to make everything more malleable, and then, uh, I don't really have a plastic trim tool or anything like that, so I grabbed something small, because I didn't want to mar anything, and uh, I just grabbed my little screwdriver, and stuck it in one spot right there, and it lifted up, and then I was able to pull with my fingers the rest of the way, and, and, and get something else in there, and and pop it up so now I'm going to do the um, next step is to take the emergency brake boot off of the center console here or just you know disconnect it from this other trim piece here so I'm going to heat it up as well and uh, tell you how I get that up okay so I applied some heat just to get things softer and it seemed that so I'm not showing you actually how I do it because I can't do two things at once, take video, I need, uh, I need my hands to be doing that stuff. So, But what I can tell you is that if you start in the middle, uh, the longest clips seem to be right here. Like the, the, middle, the middle clips were the ones that were giving me a hard time. I'm trying to get some, let me, hold on. So if you start in the middle, that's where the plastic is most malleable because of the boot. There's only a thin strip of plastic there. And there's one clip that sticks out the most that's going to prevent you from, uh, from getting it out. So you would just slide it forward. You must like slide it. Once you get, you're in there, just slide it forward and then push on the two sides over here to get those there's two clips out from underneath the center console, and then you could just pull the boot up like this and, and get it out of the way, like that. All right. Now, the next, I, I, let me apologize for this video. I mean, I'm doing it myself. I'm just trying to help some people out to, that don't want to break anything. Uh, this, I think, would help out so they could see exactly what needs to be taken apart. Next part here is to the shifter knob. Being that it's disconnected at the base, this just pulls up straight. And uh, I've been told it's really hard and you really got to plant your feet down and grab it with both hands to yank it straight up. There's a slot. I'll show you it when I get it off. And then after that, there are two Torx, Torx screws. There you go. I think you see it there. There's a lot of junk in the other one. And, and another one back there. This bit is to T20. Seems to be fitting. So the boot came out pretty easier than I thought. I basically put, just got in the middle, sat on the uh, emergency brake basically, and just planted my feet on either side of the console and grabbed it with two hands and it, it came right up. So there's a slot here that it goes into and a little rubber indentation over here that kind of holds it into place so it wasn't so bad it, it, it came off pretty pretty decently so all right so if you have a center console with an armrest this might help you out actually okay so there's a bolt over here that comes out all right but before you do that there's, a, there's another this, this cup holder comes out. There's another side piece here. So there's a screw here and a screw inside the cup holder that comes out. This one pops off. You can see where 
uh, the other side connects with this one as well. So that comes off first. And now the cup holder is kind of rolled around. You can see it rolled around this piece here. So now it was still pretty stiff after that, you know. And I was looking for, you know, something uh, that was still holding it. So a uh, little leap of faith, hoping I didn't break anything. I just grabbed it from from right under here, yanked it up a little bit, and it, it popped, and it came. So that's basically how this uh, center console comes up. Now you just have to fish this, uh, this boot through, and then I'll be able to get to, uh, looks like the joystick is mounted to the underside of the, um, of the center console. Okay, once I took that clip off, I'm able to lift it up like that, and there's four, four T20 Torx holding uh, that assembly in, and uh, there's one over there, if you can see it, right there, and another one back there. I really don't know what this insulating foam stuff is, but uh, I'll okay, work around. So just to show you the other side here, there, there were four clips. Okay, four clips holding the center console down, uh, which made it seem like it was still mounted. So uh, it's these type of clips. A couple of them actually popped off when I uh, when I lifted it up. So you just have to yank on it. There's really no way to get to them with, uh, with any type of uh, upholstery tool or anything like that. So and while you're here, you could uh, grease your stick ball over there. White lithium grease. Probably what's recommended look like what was in there anyway, so you might want to do that. Alright, once you plug, I just plugged the box, the joystick in, got the stick through the hole, and now I'm just bringing it down and fishing the uh, emerging ray boot through. You have to watch for your your uh, seat belts over there. There, that one got in the way. I'm gonna have to move that out of the way, and then try to find those holes and hopefully pop it in. And hopefully actually the joystick works and it's not some other issue. All right, so basically I'm just going to try to find those uh, clips into the right holes. Uh, it's some extra light here and then just reverse the process of uh, getting all the screws back, you know. The one in the middle of the cup holder there, uh, the two on the side there, two in those cup holders. And then popping the stick back on and putting that through there and everything just clips back in. I'll show you when uh, it's all uh, completed. But... The stick works. My multi uh, my navigation screen is uh, up and running, so I'm very okay. Happy. All the screws and clips are in. Actually, lost one. I had to find one, so be careful. Uh, when you put this rubber piece in, it's got to sit in front of the center console there, like that. I had to put it underneath it, so it was giving me a little bit of trouble. So. Then when I tried to adjust it again in the beginning, it popped one of the clips off over there, and I, God only knows where it flew. So I replaced one of the clips that hold the center console in the middle here. Okay, so it's all done now. The uh, shifter popped on very easily. The ring actually, I had to use some force to push it down, to get it nice and flush, and uh, everything seems to be fine. So. Um, I think the only thing that you really need to know is the four clips that are uh, on on the four corners of this uh, brake boot. Uh, two screws in the front, cup holder screw in the back, and two on the sides, and then just uh, pop it up. And and of course the uh, the shifter as well. The shifter um, heating it up I think helped, especially if you're in a, in a cold climate. So um, I hope this helped someone. And. Uh, if you like this video or it helped you, uh, please like and subscribe. It helps out. And um, leave a comment if you have any suggestions or questions or anything like that. All right. Thank you. Take care.